Abundant Water's Guide to Clay Water Filtration, Step 3, Molding the Filter. We're going to start with some of our properly mixed clay. Beat and knead the clay to get it ready to work with. Then roll it into a nice rounded shape. Next, we're going to slap the clay into the mold. Use your garrote to cut off any excess clay. Cut out the two sides of the channel using your knife. Scoop out the channel with a spoon, pulling, not pushing, through the clay. Use water to wet and smooth the clay. Cut off the excess clay with your fishing line garrote. Do both halves, continually smoothing and removing excess clay. Wet the edges of both sides of the filter so that they'll stick together. Join together the two halves of the filter and tie them together with our rubber straps. Next we're going to use our bamboo rolling pin to compress the clay into the mold. Cut off any excess clay. Use your bamboo rolling pin to compress the clay. Wet and smooth the inside seams of the filter, making sure that both halves are properly joined. Now it's time to roll our end cap. Mold the clay into a plug shape like this. Wet the plug and fit it in the end, continually pushing and smoothing, making sure that it's a nice tight fit with the rest of the filter. Use the end of the rolling pin to make sure that the plug joins the filter completely. Cut off any excess clay. Smooth the outside with a knife. We use the dowel from our garrote to write on each filter, identifying the maker and the date each filter was produced. This stage of your filter is complete. It will need to dry for three days on a rack. The clay filters have been drying for three days and will hold their shape. Now we remove them from their plastic molds and begin to smooth the outside with a knife. Next, we're going to trim the excess clay from the filter. We use the roll test to ensure that each filter is properly molded. Next, we're going to use wire brushes to scrape the inside and the outsides of our filters. This is going to increase our surface area and allow more water to pass through. Next, we'll rack dry the filters for two or three more days, and then we'll sun dry them another three days. Once the filters are dried, it's time to move on to the next step, firing in the kiln.